What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. The purpose of today's video is that we're going to be using pop-up oilies and we're going to be using a hair rig and a Ronnie rig for our pop-up oilies and we're just going to see which which combination will do the best today, the Ronnie rig or the hair rig. As you know, I've um, if you've watched my videos, I've caught in tons of carp on uh, Ronnie rigs and um, I don't use it a whole whole lot, but I have caught in a decent amount of carp using the Ronnie rig, but I've also caught in a lot of decent carp just on the hair rig. So as you know, the only main difference with the between these two rigs is that the Ronnie rig has a little ring on there where you can kind of feed your bait through and it kind of stays on there just kind of like that and it, that ring can kind of move. Um, Ronnie rigs are pretty notorious for, um, they're pretty notorious for catching big carp, mainly because the presentation, the, the pop-up willy gives you with that Ronnie rig, it does pop up off the bottom, which can be good for big carp as, as you know, big carp have a lot of big bellies. So they may prefer something a little bit slightly off the bottom just because their big bellies can kind of get in the way. So we're going to be using the NS1 special. 14 millimeter pop-up oily yellow color on both rods and um, I'm going to get the uh, Ronnie rig one out first and then I'll show you the regular hair rig. So I usually tie fluorocarbon line down to my hair rig, I mean to my Ronnie rig here. And I am going to be using the method feeder with this. Alright. Just, just a quick experiment, not really saying <laughs> You know, Ronnie rigs better than the uh, hair rigs or vice versa, but you know, from what history's shown me and what I've learned is that Ronnie rigs are better for catching bigger carp on the with the pop up oilies. So, but I just this is just for fun, just for kicks, just because we can, and that's it here. may get catfish today but carp would be nice but we kind of have to expect getting the catfish especially at this area here do got a little bit of a current too but it is what it is kind of like smack down in the middle there all right guys so second rod same exact septic same exact setup except i have the hair rig on this one you can see it doesn't it doesn't slide or anything like that it's just right on the hair regular hair rig okay same yellow color same pack bait the only thing that's different is just the rig Like I said, expect catfish today. And hopefully a carp. Smack down in the middle there. We're all set. Both rods are out. Let's give it some time. See if we can get one. All right, guys. We haven't had any bumps or takes or runs. Nothing. So I'm going to rebait up here. Keep going at it. I mean, we we were go the tide was going out, so now it's starting to switch. So uh, the tide will be starting to come in, and the water level will be starting to get higher. So I figure this will be a Good time to rebait up here. Very, very, very quiet. But, like I said, this is kind of how it is here in the fall. It makes it a tougher bite in the fall time. Let's get this one back out here. 
making sure my guides are all, are all straight here. All right. Kind of right where I had it before. All right, just casted that second one out. Let's see if we can get another one here or get one. I mean, the, the tide switch, so we're gonna be going through high tide, so. Let's see what we got here. I think this is a cat. We're alive. At least we finally got action. And this was on the Ronnie rig. Said so be in the mood for catfish today too. And they fight like crazy at the bank. Decent cat. Decent cat, jeez. One of the bigger ones. Oh. Come on, bud. Actually, yeah. All right, look at that. Look at this one. Still a nice fish. I think he took, he definitely ate my boilie. Oh, well, we're gonna have to put another boilie on that Ronnie rig, but gosh, he slammed it. He's chunky too. It's definitely chunky. Nice one. He's been feeding too for the fall. We'll release him. And then we'll get that one back out. Let's get that one, this one back out there. Pretty much right where I had it before. We got a carp on here. Or is it a catfish? There's some structure down through there. Could be a bigger cat. I think it was stuck in some debris, so that's why it made it seem heavy at first. Uh, this could be a carp though. It definitely has some weight to it. This is right on the Ronnie rig too. Let's 
and I'll walk it over to my net just being cautious like, like I said I have no idea how big this fish is it's moving slow I don't feel any head shakes or anything. But you never know. It was kind of acting like a carp. He's letting me lead him, which is nice. Uh, what do we got? Oh. Now he kind of knows what's going on. I still can't really tell what kind of fish this is. I think it's a carp though. Definitely think this is a carp. Yeah, or it's just a big cat. Uh, I think it's a carp, but I can only see the shadow, but Not big, either way. I mean, for a carp, it's not big. It's just fighting like crazy at the bank. These are just are not like carp rods. These are kind of more like, just kind of like medium action. Let's see. Yeah, but I think it's a carp. Still can't get a complete picture of it, but, you know, he's just, I'm just letting him do his thing at the bank right now. I'm just waiting for him to tire out. And he'll let you know when he's done. Just let him do its thing. That is what I've learned here. Just let the carp do their thing. Patience over power. Of course, it's been a while since I've been here, so... You know, the carp fight really, really good here compared to like lakes or ponds. So, the good news is the tide's coming in, so they're not going to be affected at all by these rocks so much. Yep, tiny little common. On the Ronnie rig. So it was really slow today. This is like, this is like our first fish after like five hours, to be honest. First fish, but I'll take it. I think anybody would after five hours, take any size carp. He's a little chunky. Oh. We'll let him kind of surface here and he did not and he did not take my boily first carp awesome let's get this one to the mat all right guys first carp this was on the ronnie rig and beautiful fish So it's been a very slow day. I'm glad that we got our first carp. 
Not big, not huge, but I'm happy. Beautiful. This is our second fish to the Ronnie rig, nothing on the hair rig, and both fish have come on the Ronnie rig. But this nice one. Let's release it. Let her take her time. Here she goes. Nice. All right, guys, we're gonna call it quits for the day. Pretty slow overall. Um, I mean, I really wasn't expecting to catch a whole, whole lot, but at least I was hoping to see if we could at least catch one more carp. Uh, but we did catch two fish total. One was a channel catfish. And the other one was a nice small common carp and they actually both fell victim to the uh the ronnie rig here haven't had anything on the hair rig at all so you know we're really just you know really just kind of experimenting i guess just to see which which rig would do good for the pop-up oily and you know ronnie rig is notorious for being one of the best rigs or the best rig when it comes to using pop-up oilies. So, um, like I've said before, I've, I've used both rigs for the pop-up oilies, the hair and the, um, Ronnie rig, but, um, but still nice to get a carp for today. We're, we're kind of in this fall season now and that can, it can be good for carp fishing, but this spot tends to do a little bit, it's a little bit more difficult to catch carp. Uh, at this spot during the fall for some reason. They're in here, but they're just not a whole lot. Um, really good for more of the spring, but I really just wanted to get out here and just see what we could get. Um, as always, guys, give a, give a thumbs up for this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps me out, also helps the USA Carp community out as well. And we'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care, guys.